you, thank you, thank you very much. How do you like my legs? <laughs> I'm so sick of having bird legs. You know, I was in an elevator the other day, and some ugly broad looked at me, and she said, the last time I saw a leg like that, there was a message attached. <laughs> I feel like I ought to spread out a bunch of newspapers and work on top of that. <laughs> uh, you know, I feel as long as you got bird legs, you might as well wear them in a cage. <laughs> Oh, these mini skirts, what in the world is happening with fashion? If skirts get any shorter, I'm gonna have to have my legs fixed. <laughs> they don't go all the way up. <laughs> and let's face it on me, a mini skirt is strictly mini, ha ha. <laughs> you know, all you wear uh, for a slip under these things is a long line bra. <laughs> you know, we used to laugh at those ads, I dreamed I went shopping in my maiden form bra. I got news, we're doing it. <laughs> I can just see it now. Mabel, bring me my street bra, the one with the buttons. <laughs> if it were for the buttons, I wouldn't have any shape at all. <laughs> I'm probably the only woman in America with two backs. <laughs> and I'm pretty sick and tired of having my bras come back from the laundry march flat work. <laughs> How do you feel about an A-minus cup? <laughs> And I know I'm the only woman in America over 40 still wearing a training bra. <laughs> but my husband is usually absolutely no help because, you know, he boozes. Oh, golly, how do I tell you? He gets so high, he won't drink without a net under him. <laughs> in fact, he thinks he's royalty because everybody's always talking about his highness. <laughs> in the front yard trying to kill a garden hose. <laughs> and I know very well he is the only man in America who ever tried to swim the Pennsylvania Turnpike. <laughs> I think he would have made it except for the white line. 